because we find out that Pete was talking about that, well, and then the president is we're in a recession, and, and it talks about everybody lost their 401ks, and the people are losing their jobs, and the jobs are going over to the foreign countries, and the, and the employment rate is very high, and, and foreclosure is very high, diseases is high, earthquakes here, earthquakes there, a flood here, somebody's house is getting burned up, a, a fire there. But, but, but one thing that I, I, I found out, regardless of, regardless of all these, all these destructions and all these situations, but, but, but there is hope. Amen. Yes, See, because yes. there is hope. The reason why is that my hope is, 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 is not in what I see, and it's not in, in what I hear, but my hope is in, is in God. Amen. Amen. See, your, your, hope has yes. to, your hope has to be mm -hmm. in God. And, and one thing that I have said time and time and time and time again is that things are going to, situation is going to draw you close to God, or uh, it's going to draw you away from God. Amen. And, and one thing that I know, regardless of whatever I go through, whatever bad things that I've experienced, but I have, I have always learned to run to God and not to run away from God, but to, but to run to God. See, I learned not to put my hope in things because, see, because, see, because you can have things, you can have a, a million dollars a day, and, and, and tomorrow you, you don't have, you don't even have a quarter, you, you don't even have a penny. You can have a house today, but tomorrow you, you, you may not have a house. You can have a car today, and tomorrow you may not have a car. You may have food today, but tomorrow. You may not have food, but the Bible said, take no thought what you should eat or what you should drink, because tomorrow is going to do what tomorrow is going to take care of itself. Huh? Amen. Amen. Glory Amen. To God. Amen. And what I would like Amen. to talk to the church about today, I would like to talk about, Lord, do a new thing in me. Amen. Lord, do a new thing in me. The scripture I'm coming from is Isaiah 47. No, no, Isaiah 42. It's Isaiah 42 and 9. Isaiah 42 and 9. Man. Behold, the former things are come to pass. And new thing do I declare. Before they spring forth, I tell you of them. Now in this verse that Isaiah is talking about, that it said, Behold, the former things are come to pass. And and we we know that in, in this day and time that God was telling Isaiah, well, the former things, the things that I have told you before Isaiah have already came to pass. And as we can look in our own very lives that the things that God has told us, told us in our personal life that the things that was going to come to pass, and those things have already already came already have came to pass. Huh? Amen. Uh -huh. So as you know and uh -huh. and you know as we begin to look at that the former things are past. You know and those things are came to pass that we can look at that and say that in confidence that that God doesn't lie. Amen. He, that 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 God is not slack to, to concerning his his promise. Amen. And what oh. God has told you, God has already bring those things to pass. Is that yeah. when I said before, as when you go into your situation. You can reminisce of the things that God have already have done for you, the uh -huh. things that God have already have brought to pass. Yes. You can put your foot on that. <laughs> oh, good God. You can put your foot on that. Amen. That that God that God is it's it's not slack concerning his promise. That God Amen. will bring those things to pass. Amen. But but God said this that I will do a a new thing. Uh huh. Now I will I will do a new thing. Amen. So as as us as individuals, we, we, that we have to allow God to do a new thing yes. in us. 
Man. When was the last time God did a new thing in you? Uh-huh. So, so God said, I would do a new thing as we as believers, we have to realize this, that every day God is doing something new. Amen. And if God is not doing nothing new in your life, you have to check yourself. Amen. So, yes. with, so with, with, oh my God. Amen. See, because, because they, you got to understand that you have to be willing, you have to be willing and submissive and, and order for God to do a new thing within you. Uh huh. See, because God is not going to do a new thing in you if you don't want him to do a new thing in you. Amen. See, see, oh my God. See, do a new thing. And, and I remind I'm myself and, and and I ask God every day, there are things in my life that, that I need improving on. Uh, I need improving on. But but I want I, I want to, to get closer to God. I'm asking God, God, do a new thing in me. God purge me. God cleanse me. God, God, God just just give me, just give me your word, Lord. Give me wisdom. Give me knowledge, God. God, give me understanding, God. Amen. God yes. purge me. God yes. cleanse me yes. from the Glory things that's God. not like you. Yes. Oh, oh, but see, because oh, the, the, there is different levels of relationship with God. God yes. began to elevate you to a different level. I don't want to be on the yes. same level. Yes. I don't want to be on the same yes. level, but Glory I want God, God to yes. take me to another, to another yes. level, to a higher yes. level. Yes, yes. Oh. Higher Lord, yes. Glory to God. See, see because Lord, yes. when we get ourselves in the situation yes. of, of talking about oh, the the formal things, we can align. We a lot of times that we stay in, in a formal situation. Amen. See, because if we have a, a, a formal mentality, we, we have a formal mentality, we have a formal way of, of thinking because we can use our formal way of thinking in order for us to go to another level within God. Amen. Oh my God. And it said right in here, it said that. That the former, behold, the former things are come to pass. Oh my God! I mean, see, you got to hold on to your prophecy. You got to hold on to what God tells you, what God has already spoken in your life, because God is going to bring those things, things to pass. And you, oh, good God Almighty! I'm reminded of Abraham. God, God told him that he was going to have a son. And it was 25 years later, but, but God promised him 25 years before that he was going to bless him with a son. But it was 25 years later, God blessed him with a son. Amen. Uh -huh. Oh, my Lord God. God. Yeah. Oh, my God. I, I'm yeah. reminded of, of the children of Israel being in bondage for 400 years. Oh, that's a long time Amen. to be in, to, to be in bondage. But yeah. well, God had promised that he was going to he was going to bring his kids out of the land of Egypt and take them into the promised land that flowed with milk and honey. But God took them out of Egypt and took them into a land that flowed with milk and honey. Amen. Oh, yes. my God. <laughs> yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Glory to God. And it said, Behold, the former things are past. A new thing do I declare. Oh, we all like new things. We all like a yeah. new house. We yeah. all like uh -huh. a like a new house, a, uh -huh. a new construction house that nobody yeah. never lived in. Uh -huh. We we like that. We enjoy that uh -huh. because we can say, "Hey, I'm moving into this house that nobody never lived in. Yeah. It's uh -huh. brand spanking new." Uh -huh. Oh, I I buy this car. I thank God for this car because hey, this car is brand new. Uh -huh. It's brand new. I'm the only. I'm the only driver. You know, uh -huh. I bought a brand new car. It's a privilege to buy something that that is that is it is brand new. Amen. See, because, right. oh, God. See, God. see, see, because, see, because we think about even even styles. We think about clothing. Oh, I like this design of clothes because this is design of clothes is new. Uh -huh. This is All a right. new designer designer clothes. Oh, uh -huh. this is Close a new pair of shoes. This uh -huh. is a, a new new soup, but something uh -huh. about new, it makes you feel good. <laughs> it, it makes you feel good. Yeah. Something, something, that, something that yeah. is new. Yeah. And, and, you know, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. the newness. Yeah. See, 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 because, see, because when God made us, see, God made something so God made something new. God did not make us like in, in anybody else. Uh -huh. God made us individually. 
there is, uh, there is something different about each and every one of us. You know, each and every one of us, we are unique in, in our own yes. ways. We are unique in, in our ideas. We are unique yes. in, in, in the way that we look. Yes. Oh, good God of God. Yes. See, Close when I think God. about yes. the newness, Close I think God. about some of these twins, some of these twins, they may look to like, they may, they may look where they may think to like, they may look better and talk to like, but they are different. Amen. See, because you think God, God loves you so much, even he know that every string on, on your head. Amen. Oh, Amen. God. Amen. Yes, yes, yes. My yes. God. Yes. And I, I'm, I'm talking Close about, yes. I'm talking about newness. Uh-huh. The new. Thank you, Lord Jesus. The new. Glory to God. So, see, because, see, because God is not a God um, see, because God is a God of newness. And see, because he said that my thoughts are, are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, said the Lord. Yes, see, the amen, Lord yes. is not in a stagnated situation. Huh? Amen. Thank no, the Lord. Lord is not in a stagnated uh -huh. situation. <laughs> See, see, because that, because of, when you are in God, when you're in God, you be, you be, you study, you continue to make progress, huh? Amen. And and he said that, that those things will spring forth. Now they will spring forth quickly. See, because when God do a new thing in you, He will bring it forth quickly. Uh huh. Oh my Lord God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Huh? Oh Lord my God. God. And let's, let's turn over here to uh, Isaiah 43 and verse 18. Isaiah 43 and 18. Remember ye not the formal things, neither consider the things of old. Now, in this verse over here, I'm very curious about it. He said, remember not, not the form of things. Uh -huh. See, over here he's talking about, he said, okay, now, now, the form of things have came to pass. He said, a new thing I would do. Uh -huh. But over here he said, you know, remember not the form of things. Uh -huh. See, because that there are things that have happened in our past that will that will cause us to be hung up. Amen. Huh? Oh my God. There are things that, that have Lord happened in your past that, that, that would cause you to not to go forward. So see, because that you know that you know I, I look at situations in my own life that that you know I came from from an abusive family. My father was an alcoholic and he was very abusive to my to, to, to my mother. Huh? He he was very abusive to my to my mother, getting my mother black eyes and busting lips and all that other other stuff. But but I thank God that I did not allow that to, in a domestic situation, an environment, in an alcoholic situation, in a gambling situation, but to stop me. But see, to keep me from making progress, to keep uh -huh. me from getting an education, to keep me from getting a degree, to, to, to keep me from having a lovely wife and a lovely, lovely family, I didn't allow my past, I didn't allow my past to, 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 to captivate me, to, to hold me uh -huh. in a paralyzed situation. Uh -huh. See, because there are many people out there, many, many people, Meeting the people all over the world in a paralyzed situation, but see, but they can't, they sin within themselves that I can't make any progress, I can't do this, I can't do that, but because I don't have the money, I don't, I don't have the education, I came from an abusive family, I've been, I've been molested, I, I, I've been abused in a situation, and it caused them to be paralyzed in their mind. He said, I, God is saying, don't remember, don't remember those things. Don't remember those things that, don't, don't remember those things that caused you to be paralyzed. But, but I want to let you know that regardless of what you have been through in the past, regardless of what you have been through, but I have a new thing that I want to do with you. Oh, good God about oh it. Because then I will pick you up. I will pick you up out of muck in the mouth and place yes, your feet on a yes, solid Lord, rock. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Huh? Thank you. And it said, and let's turn over here to, I, I, I want to stay right there, but I, I, I want to go over here right quick to Philippians. Oh, 
Philippians, the, uh, oh my God, Philippians, the uh, third chapter, and the 13th verse. Philippians, the third chapter, and the 13th verse. It said, Brother, I counted not myself to have apprehended, but this is one thing I do. Forgetting those things that which are behind. So Paul here said himself, you know, it's said one thing, but one thing that I do. Uh-huh. I'm forgetting those things that which are behind. Yes. And I'm reaching forth unto those Glory things that God. which are before. Uh-huh. Paul said, hey, I'm forgetting my past situation, my past problems. I'm forgetting what I used to be. I, I, I used to be a, I used to be a rough man. I used to be rugged. I used to call saints to be persecuted and, and murder. I, I used to be a man of hatred. I used to be a man of violence. But but I but what I'm doing, I'm forgetting those things that which are, are behind. And I'm reaching forth unto those things which are before. You may used to be a prostitute. You may used to be an alcoholic. You may used to be a drug dealer, a drug dealer but you can forget about those things, those things that you used to do. God said, forget about those things and allow me to make you yes. the way that I want you to be. Praise allow me to take yes. you in, in, into the newness. Yes. Yes. See, 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 because Oprah Winfrey did, did, did not allow, the, allow her situation, allow that she'd been abused as a child, the, the, that allows that, that cause her to be paralyzed. But, but she made up in her mind that she was going to be successful. Yes. And one thing about the, one thing yes. about Miss Oprah Winfrey, yes. she became an outstanding, she, she, she became a, a household God. name because that she did not allow her Lord. domestic situation, Lord her domestic situation to Lord stagnate God. her. Yes, she became a great successful business woman because that she made it in her mind. She made it in her mind. And no doubt that I'm, I'm saying the same thing for her. She said that brave is he that is in me than he that is in the world. But she began to look up to to God for her help, for her, for her guidance, and give her the strength that she needed in that situation. Oh, good God Almighty. Paul said, I'm forgetting those things that that which are behind that, that with that there's a lot of situations that, that have happened in in, 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 in our lives that that we didn't, we may not have came from a family that that have had very much and uh-huh. very, very 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 much money. We we have we came may not have came from a family that that didn't that didn't have a degree. But 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 all that we did not allow that because like my father didn't have a degree because my mother may not have a degree because of our limited situation with money we didn't we didn't allow that to stop us to keep us from becoming a doctor becoming uh-huh. becoming a, a lawyer be, be, be becoming president uh-huh. of, of the United States we uh-huh. did not call we did not look at our situation when it, when when it says because of like skin color that we could be in this place that we could be in that place no 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 we we think we we forgot them about those things that yes. we, we know about. We yes. know about the civil rights yes. movement, but we're yes. not in the civil rights movement today, but we did not. We learned from the civil rights, but, but oh my God, that we yes. look yes. unto a brighter day. Yes, glory to God. Oh, but Dr. Martin Luther King said with that, that that we can yes. we can look. I see I see black children, white children, yes. and all kind of colored children you know, playing together, but uh-huh. in this day and time that, that the children could not play together. That there was called in a desegregation situ- situation. But oh God, oh thank God that, that his dream and, and his ideas, his thoughts, and those things came to came to pass. Yes. Oh but yes. but yes. but yes. I wanna let you know today that Lord you can God. pick yourself up. Uh-huh. You can pick your you can pick yourself up. Uh-huh. Don't listen to what people say. Hey! Don't listen to what people Ooh, say. Lord, Don't Lord. let people put you down. Don't let people destroy your dream. Don't let people destroy your vision. Glory to God. Oh my Glory God. Glory to God. Glory to God. But Glory say that God. I can do all things through Christ that strengthen me. 
Praise the glory to God. Huh? Glory to God. Yes. Yeah. He Lord. said, Brother, I count it not myself to have apprehended, but this is one thing I do, forgetting those things that which are behind and reaching forth unto those things that which are before. I'm reaching forth unto those things that which are before. I'm reaching forth because God said I can have those, I can have those things. God said that he would give me the desires of my heart. Amen. Amen. Uh, Oh my God. God said He would give me the desires of my heart. Amen. Huh? Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm not going to listen to the devil. Huh? Glory I'm God. not listening to the Glory devil. To God. And, the, and the 14 verses said, I press <laughs> towards the mark of a price of a high calling in God. See, see, because that when, when you allow God to to do do a new thing in you, that God will elevate you high. See, you you can't see, see you can't stay in the same situation that that when you listen to the voice of God, when you obey God's word, God will take you, continue to take you in the newness of His word. He said, "I press towards a mark for a prize of a high calling in God." Amen. Yes. Oh, oh, every day, every day, I, I, I got to press uh -huh. towards that, towards that mark mm -hmm. of a higher calling. Huh? Amen. See, Amen. but I can't allow. See, I, I, I can't allow my past situation to tie up my future or to hang up my future. Huh? I cannot. Because of my credit situation, because of my personal background, I may have blemish. I may have went to jail or anything. I may have went to jail and all this other stuff. But you can't allow because you may went to jail that 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 you may made some mistakes that allow your past to hang up your future, huh? See, because because if you always look back. I always look back and allow Satan to bring condemnation of your past that he always throwing up your, your past. Oh, uh, but, oh, but, oh, but you uh, tell Satan, but have Satan, yes, I do. I know my past. I know what I came from because my past caused me to praise God for my future. <laughs> See, I can praise God for my future because oh, that when I look at my past, I look at the grace and the mercy and the mercy of God. I look at the long suffering of God because when I look at, at, at my past, I look at the goodness of God. Oh, I look at, I can say that, that God loves me, that, that God loves me, that God loved me so much that he gave heaven back that which was his son. Yes, Lord. Oh, my God. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, my God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And let, let us go Thank back. We, we can, we can go God. back over here. Back over here to, you, to Isaiah 43. Yes. Glory to God. And the 19th verse said, Behold, mm -hmm. I will do a new thing. Hmm. And now it shall spring forth, shall ye not know it. Mm. See, in other words, it's going to surprise you. <laughs> God's going to do a new thing Glory to you. To it, it, it's going to surprise you. You're going to say, who is that? I, 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 don't, I, don't, I don't know that person because that if, if, if a person would look at me now and look at me before God came into my life, they would say, well, uh -huh, that is, that's, a, that's a different person. See, because when God comes into your life when you allow when you allow Christ to live in you that brings forth a change. Glory to God. Yes. Oh that brings forth a, a, yes, a, a change. That brings forth a different outlook. That brings forth a different walk. That brings forth a different talk. That brings forth a different way of thinking. I will do a new thing. Amen. You may say that I'm going through a financial difficult situation right now. Have you allowed God to work in that situation? Uh -huh. Or are you trying to, you know, you're trying to figure it out. Are you trying to do it in your own strength? Uh-huh. All right. Glory see, to God. see, because that, you Glory know, this is what this is where 
if, if he doesn't have the power to do it, if he doesn't have the resources yes, to do it, to God. You, 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 you got to believe God. You got to say, God, I'm, I, I'm, I'm giving it. He said, come unto me, all you that labor, and I every labor, and I will give you rest. You got to give it to God. Yeah. See, but see, because that, see, because you, you don't have to try to work your situation out all by yourself. You don't even have to, you don't even have to keep the problem. Because Amen. God, God would not Amen. only, God, you can, he said, call on me in the day of trouble, and I will answer you, and I will show you great and mighty yeah. things that you know yeah. it not. See, but, see, but God said, bring it to me. Let me fix it. Don't, don't you try to work it out. Let me fix it. Huh? Let me fix it. God is saying, let me, let me do it. Allow God to do a new thing in you. But, but do you really want God to do a new thing in you today? Huh? There's a lot of people saying that, Lord, do a new thing in me. Like people, you know, you know, like a New Year resolution. You know, they say, okay, you know, this new year I'm going to lose, you know, 50 pounds, you know. Uh, I'm, I'm going to say, you know, a thousand dollars this year. You know, I didn't save a thousand dollars last year. You know, I'm going to save it this year. <laughs> they said, well, I'm going to lose fifty pounds this year. I'm going to go. I'm going to go on a diet. I'm going to. I'm going to buy me a house. I'm going to. I'm going to buy me a, a car. You know, I'm going to be a better husband. I'm going to be a better wife. Huh? I'm going to get me a better job. Uh huh. Huh? I'm going to be a better man spiritually, uh -huh. you know, but they find themselves coming short, uh -huh. <laughs> you know, and, and they begin to get frustrated because that the things that I said that I was going to accomplish this year, I, did, I didn't accomplish those things. I didn't even accomplish one of those things. But, but when you, but when you say, hey, God, I need, I, I need for you to do this for me. God, I desire for you to fix this. God, I, 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 you know, God, I just want you to, you know, to come in, Lord, and make a way. Mm -hmm. You know, you know, you know, God don't only just hear us, but God will always do something about our problem. And he said that, you, if you look at this, when he said that, hey, God, when God told you what he's going to do in the past, those things didn't come to pass. Huh? You like, know, see, see, because if, if if God had already showed you that those things was going to come to pass, those things did. God saying that you can hold on to that. God is going to do a new thing. Uh huh. Amen. And and, and, and oh my God. God. And about and look at in that new thing, you expect it new, huh? Uh huh. See, you see, you can't receive new if you're not expecting new. You, 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 you got to be expecting. You got to be expecting new. You, you, got, to, you got to smell new. You, 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 got, to, you got to smell new. You, you got to look new. You see, because when you, when you, when you are a new spiritually, you, you are automatic. you new on the outside. Amen. Because I'm expecting new. I'm expecting for God to do something every day. Glory to, huh? God. Glory to God. I'm expecting. I'm looking for it. I'm looking for it. <laughs> I'm look. I'm looking for it. You know. And, and and oh my God. I'm looking for it when, when I get when I when I get on my knees in prayer for for God to tell me something new. I, I'm looking for God to open up my eyes that He would show me me something new. I'm looking for God to to open up my ears that 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 that, that I can hear the, the new things, the, the the new idea. Oh my God, Amen. <laughs> my God, <clears throat> let's go with me to go with me to Isaiah sixty-five and seventeen. Isaiah 65 and 17. <clears throat> Glory to God. <clears throat> Isaiah 65 and 17. Wow. It says, For behold, I created a new heaven uh -huh. and a new earth, and the former shall not be remembered, nor come into mind. <laughs> So God's saying here that, okay, 
Now, I created a new heaven, <laughs> and I created a, a new earth, uh -huh. and the former shall not be remembered. So other words, other words like in you, God created you a new you, <laughs> and, and the former you is not remembered. <laughs> See, because that the blood of Jesus it washed away all uh, uh, of your sins and made the slate made the slate clean. See, because there there is a a new you. See, because they, it, 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 in other words, it won't even come to God, it won't even come to God's mind of your past. Uh-huh. Oh, my God. Glory to God, yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, glory to God. Thank you, Lord, for your word. Glory to God. Thank you for your word, Lord. So. Glory to God. Now, in order for, another reason, in order for newness. Let us go over here to Proverbs 32. Proverbs 8 and 32. Huh? Proverbs 8 and 32. Now in Proverbs, oh, in the, the book of wisdom. Oh, thank you, Lord. Proverbs 8 and 32, it reads, it says, now therefore hearken unto me. Now I want you to hearken unto me. I want you to pay attention. Uh -huh. Oh ye children. Yes, Lord. Thank you. For blessed are they that keep my way. Now blessed are the children that keep my way. Mm -hmm. And the third, third verse it says, hear instruction and be wise and refuse it not. Now, in order for, you know, Lord to do a new thing in me or in you, we have to follow God's instruction. We have to wait on God's instruction. Uh -huh. Huh? So, so if, if we can't follow God's instruction, No newness, no no newness is gonna is gonna happen. No newness is gonna take place. Amen. See, see because that because that I, I like what it says. Proverbs it say, "In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he will direct thy path." In, in every situation in my life, I'm, well, I'm I'm gonna wait until I receive an instruction from God. You know, we put ourselves in a bad situation that, that we go out and we go out and do things with without yes. without following God instruction, uh -huh. without waiting to receive in instruction. Mm -hmm. Huh? Yes. Lord he said, God. hear instruction. You know, Solomon realized that it's very important to to hear instruction. Man. We got to hear the, the, the instruction. We in the body of Christ that we would not make so many mistakes if we learn to follow God's instruction. Uh -huh. Amen. Huh? Amen. See, yeah. pride will cause us not to follow God's instruction. Amen. Yeah. But an humble man will follow instruction. Praise him. Huh? Uh -huh. It said. It said right here. It said. It said hear instruction. And be wise and refuse it not. Hear the instruction and be wise. Other words, to receive the instruction. Receive it. Mm -hmm. And it is very important to hear. See, but because a person hears doesn't mean that they're receiving. Praise them. Praise them. See, because mm -hmm. a lot of people, a lot of uh -huh. people are said in a congregation, and a congregation is, is hearing God's word, but they're not applying God's word. Huh? See, but they're, they're hearing it with the outer ear, but they're not hearing it with the inner ear, Glory and they're not receiving it. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. But when you hear God's in instruction, uh -huh. oh, you can Glory begin to, to walk in the newness. Oh, oh, God, what's your instruction today? Oh, it's, 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 it's new. It's something that I never heard before, God. God, see, because God gives different, not so many different types of, of revelation in, 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 in his word. Oh, my God. God is awesome. 
God's word is, 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 is awesome, my God. And I said, and I said to myself, oh, I said to myself, I've been in ministry for for over 30 years, and I said, and I said, oh Lord, I didn't know about that. I said, I didn't teach in school did not teach me about that. I said, oh Lord. I said, oh Lord, I never looked at it like this before. But the Holy Ghost comes in and gives you. The Holy Ghost is a teacher. The Holy Ghost is a God. Oh, the Holy Ghost begins to teach me, begin to reveal God's words to me. Oh, begin to grow. See, 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 because, see, because that when, you, when God would take you in the newness, God takes you in the area of maturity. Praise the Father. Uh-huh. God takes you to the, on the area of maturity. You begin to you begin to grow spiritually. You begin to get strength. Your faith begin to grow. Your faith. You begin to grow not only in faith. You begin to grow in wisdom and knowledge. But most of all, you begin to grow in love. Uh-huh. Huh? You, you begin to you begin you begin to grow. <laughs> And it said, and it said that it said, refuse it not, refuse it not. In other words, that you can hear instructions, but if the instruction is not what you want, you're gonna refuse it. How many of us has been guilty of refusing instructions? Huh? Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Thank you. The devil refused instructions. And eternal life in hell and one third of the angels. Because refusing instructions. How many how many people today is going to church every Sunday and refusing the instructions? They're refusing it. They say, no, I don't want to line up to, to God's word. No, no, I, 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 I don't want to, you know, that preacher can't tell me what to do. Mm-hmm. That teacher can't tell me what to do. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm my own man and I'm, I'm my own woman. I can do what I want to do. Yes, right. You can do what you want to do, and you're going to spend eternity in hell. Mm-hmm. Glory huh? to God. Mm-hmm. Oh, Glory God. to God. Thank the Lord Jesus. Glory mm-hmm. to God. Glory to God. Now, it said, refuse it not. And the 34th said, but, said, but blessed is the man that heareth me. Mm-hmm. Blessed, favored is the man that heareth me. Huh? And watching daily at my gate, mm-hmm. waiting at the post of my door. Mm-hmm. He's waiting at the post of my, my door. Mm-hmm. And the third and fifth verse said, for whosoever findeth me, findeth life. Glory to God, yes. God said, whosoever findeth me, findeth life. Glory to God. Oh, my God. Mm-hmm. I thank God that I found life. I, I mean, I, I was in a dead situation at the age of 14 years old. But that night on my birthday, on December the 2nd, when I was age of 14 years old, that night I turned 15 years old. That night God gave me life. God, God gave me eternal, eternal life. I thank God. Thank God for that life. That, that, that God, God turned my life around. That, that God, that God took me and that God Oh my God, that God took me in a new. He did a new thing in me because I didn't think the way that I used to think. I didn't talk the way that I used to talk. I didn't even walk the way that I used to walk. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, treat, I didn't treat people the way that I, I used, to, you used to treat people. Oh, but I thank God because God picked me up emotionally. God picked me up mentally. God picked me up spiritually. God gave me a better outlook on life. And I thank God for it. God picked me up when I was an absolute. And it goes, glory to God. And I mean, I graduated, came an A and B student. I graduated early. I graduated before time. I made my way through college. I bought my first car. I bought my own house. Oh, glory. I thank God today. God made me a month of me. Oh my God. I'm telling you that God will pick you up. God will change your life. That God will bring you in the newness of his word. Whosoever finds me, 
find his life. Glory to God. Thank and you. shall obtain favor of the Lord. Oh, are you, are you walking in the faith? And see, boys, when you allow God to do a new thing in you, but you're walking in, you walking in faith. You walking in faith. Oh, oh you walking in favor and great success. When you allow God to do a new yes, thing in you. Glory to God. Glory to God. Oh my God. Yes, Lord. Thank you. <laughs> Turn over with me to 2 Corinthians 5 and 17. 2 Corinthians 5 and 17. Praise him. Glory to God. 2 Corinthians 5 and 17. And it reads, it says, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, See, you got to be in Christ. You can't be out of Christ. See, see, you got to allow God to live within you. Not that you live, you living within him. He lived within you. It says, therefore, if any man be in Christ, huh? It said that he is a new creature. Not in the natural sense to say your, your our appearance is. Is new, but but you are new. See, because you are born again spiritually. Right. See, because by you born again spiritually, now, now let me look. Let me kind of deal with that for a minute. If you you born again spiritually, see, but see because that now that would do a transformation on, on on the outer look. Now it may not be. You may not. You know. You, you may be bald headed. It may not bring your hair back, but your appearance. Your appearance becomes different. Your, your demeanor, your attitude becomes totally, totally Lower to God. different. To God. You may have a bad attitude. You may be an angry person, a, 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 you know, a, a person of negativity, a person that never say anything good about anybody, <laughs> didn't even say anything good about yourself. But when God began to change you inwardly, when God began to change you spiritually, if it brings a different outlook yes. on the outside because you begin to talk different, you begin to think different, you begin to look on life, a, look, you begin to look on life a little bit different. You begin to look different on, on, on life. You begin to look at people different. You begin to talk, talk different. Praise them. God change your vocabulary. Amen. God yes. would change your vocabulary. Amen. Yes, Amen. Amen. Yes. God would change that. See, because that's a part of that's a part of oh Lord. Amen. It's a, it's a oh Lord, a new thing. Uh -huh. I'm, I'm doing a new thing. That you saw this when he said, "Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new." See, uh -huh. you, you, you are new. Uh huh. Huh? Praise him. Praise him. <laughs> Amen. As the old things are passed away. Now, the old things, old outlook, old way of talking, huh? old behavior, old way of doing things, those things are passed away. See, those, those things are in the sea of, of forgiveness, forgiveness. God has forgiven you for those things, those things of the, of the past. And God rich forth and brought you into his newness. Huh? Glory to God. Those things are in the sea of forgiveness. Mm -hmm. You know? And God has brought you into, into the new. Thank the Lord Jesus. Now, but if you have seen people that confess and, well, okay, I'm born again. I, I, I'm a Christian. But, it, but, it's that, but in your life, there's no newness it's in your life. If you see us talking the same, if you yes. see us walking the same, if you see us yes. thinking the same, yes. huh? God, if you yes. see us live the same, uh -huh. I have to beg to differ. You haven't been born again. Uh -huh. You may have just spoken word. You just spoke right. word. Okay. But, but see, you spoke word, but yeah. your heart, your heart has been changed. Uh -huh. See, because when you are sin when, see, when you, you, when you are sin uh, sincere, God will change the, God will change the heart. Uh -huh. Oh, I got to go with that to what? Glory to God. I got to go with that to Romans. Yes. Huh? Amen. It says, Behold, all things becoming new. Let's turn over here to Romans. I believe it's the uh, it's the 
Let's turn out to Romans, the 10th chapter, and the 9th and 10th verse. Amen. And this right here would give clarity. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thy heart that God has raised him from the dead, uh -huh. thou shalt be saved. Praise him. See, but it said believe in thine heart. You know, see, you you got to believe in your heart that, that God has raised his son Jesus from the dead. Yes, amen. And thou That's should be it. saved. Yes, sir. You have to believe in you thy heart. Know. See, see, because your heart needs an overhaul. Your heart needs to, you need to have yes. a heart transplant. Uh -huh. Your heart needs to be changed. Praise him. Spiritually. Amen. Praise it needs to be changed spiritually. Uh-huh. You need a change spiritually. Praise him. Believe Praise in thy heart. <laughs> oh, my God. Believe in thy heart that God has raised him from the dead. Thou shalt be saved. Uh -huh. But with the heart men believe it unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Amen. Oh, my God. See, see, because that, see, because that, you, when you are in a situation uh -huh. that you know, hey, I need to make a change. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. You know, the, the, the road that I'm going down, you know, I, I'm going to go to hell. You know, it's destruction. The road that I'm going down, it's a way of destruction. Yes. But I don't have to go that way because God has a better way. God has a better plan. Mm -hmm. God, God doesn't want me to. God doesn't want me to spend eternity with him. God uh -huh. doesn't want me to go down that road. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, Lord my God. God. And I'm going to continue yes. this later on. Glory to God. Oh, Lord. Thank you. Do Lord. a new thing in me. Amen. Oh, my God. Yes. Amen. Thank, Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you.